Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, a Mary Aircraft brings Italian black shape Gabrielle trainer to the U.S. market. Want to fly to the Bahamas? Here's what you need to know. And United Airlines employees required to get vaccinated. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. A Mary Aircraft brings Italian black shape Gabrielle trainer to the U.S. market. A Mary Aircraft sales and service in Houston, Texas is now the exclusive sales and service dealer for the Black Shape line of aircraft. A Mary CEO, Malik Nassim, Black Shape CEO, Luciano Belviso introduced us to the bird at the Air Venture 2021 display. The Gabrielle is the trainer version of the higher performance Prime model, certified in the United States and about to become certified by the FAA under reciprocal agreement protocols. Gabrielle is a tandem seat, retractable gear design constructed of carbon fiber, prepreg steel and aluminum. It is powered by a Lycoming IO320 D1 B160 horsepower engine turning a Hartzell three-blade constant speed prop. On the safety side, it also comes with a five-point certified safety belts, a ballistic parachute, and anti-blast fuel tanks. On the performance side of the specs, the design claims a very respectable 820-foot takeoff run and a mere 620-foot landing roll making it suitable for operation on small fields. Max endurance is about 3.2 hours. On the avionics sheet, the front cockpit sports dual Aspen EFD 1000s, GP instruments, EDM 900 engine monitoring, GTN 650, and GNC 255 navigation, and an optimal KLR 10 lift reserve indicator among other components. Three versions of the Gabrielle are planned. After the break, five companies have to pay a hefty fine for illegal charter operations. I'll tell you which ones after these messages. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical, with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Here's what happens when you mess with the FAA. You get fined. The FAA has proposed civil penalties totaling $1,228,671 against five companies for allegedly conducting illegal charter flights. The cases are as follows. Patco Air Lease proposed fine is about $344,000. Patco Tactical Air is about $301,000. Wickert Air, $233,000. Oracle Aviation, about $191,000. East Shore Aviation, about $157,000. 2021 Wings Over North Georgia Hybrid Drive-In Airshow plans announced. Some more good news on the airshow front. 
The 2021 Wings Over North Georgia Drive-In Air Show will take flight at the Russell Regional Airport in Rome, Georgia on October 30th until the 31st. The event will feature headlining performance from the U.S. Navy Blue Angels and U.S. Air Force ACC A-10 Thunderbolt II demonstration team. COVID-19 restrictions in 2021 forced JLC Airshow Management to create guidelines and a format that allowed for social distancing or face the risk of cancellation. The result was a drive-in format. Tamarack joins ICAO Global Coalition for Sustainable Aviation. Tamarack Aerospace is the latest member of the ICAO Global Coalition for Sustainable Aviation. The coalition is a forum of stakeholders which aims to facilitate the development of new ideas and accelerate the implementation of innovative solutions that will further reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Other notable members of the coalition include Airbus, Archer, and others. NASA and Boeing reports progress on OFT2 valve issue. NASA and Boeing continued to work over the weekend and Monday morning on the company's CST-100 Starliner spacecraft service module propulsion system in preparation for the Orbital Flight Test 2 mission to the International Space Station. Work progressed to restore functionality to several valves in the Starliner propulsion system that did not open as designed during the launch countdown for the August 3rd launch attempt. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. If you want to fly to the Bahamas, here's what you need to know. ANN's friend Jim Parker of Caribbean Flying Adventures has informed us that things have changed with Bahamas entry requirements. Again, he notes that as of August 6, vaccinated individuals must also submit a negative PCR or antigen test to enter the Bahamas. Unvaccinated individuals are still required to present a negative PCR test for entry. The official announcement states, for both vaccinated and unvaccinated travelers 12 years or older entering the island must show proof of a negative COVID-19 test no more than five days prior to the date of arrival. Travelers must also provide name and address of the lab where the test was performed. For unvaccinated travelers, island hopping must also show proof of negative results. After these messages, United Airline employees will be required to get vaccinated. I'll tell you by when after the break. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Affordable and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. Offering excellent fuel efficiency and a durable composite design, the Alpha Trainer can be operated from virtually anywhere. Whether you're a first-time aircraft owner, assembling a fleet, or running a flight school, the LightSport Alpha Trainer from Pipistrel is a dynamic option. Learn more about what the Pipistrel Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrel-usa.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. We all knew this was coming. Companies requiring employees to get vaccinated. 
An expected new mandate is requiring all active United Airlines employees, including flight crews in the United States, to be vaccinated by October 25th, or five weeks after FDA approval of the vaccine, depending on which date arrives first. Those who show proof of vaccination by September 20th will be compensated with an extra day of pay. Since June, all new hires have been required to get the vaccine, echoing a Delta Airlines policy that was announced mid-May. United is the first major airline to announce this mandate for the entirety of their 67,000 active workers inside the United States. We know some of you will disagree with this decision to require the vaccine for all United employees, Chief Executive Scott Kirby and President Bret Hart said in a memo to employees on Friday. The memo also said that it's likely there will be an earlier deadline for the vaccination due to the media reports of FDA approval. The Airline Pilots Association informed its membership that the employer mandate would be determined to be lawful, despite a small number of pilots disagreeing with the new policy. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.